It's Abraham Salton from Jerusalem with another Animal Studio Pro tutorial and today we'll be learning about camera and 3D. For this tutorial we'll be using a file that comes with Animal Studio. Here is the path of the file. E Frontier, Anime Studio, Tutorials, 5 Animation, 5.8 is the name of our tutorial. Let's open it and we have two layers and one sub layer. We're working now with the background layer and we're looking from above like you have a picture of a tree on top of a picture of a ground. We don't want that. We want to create a 3D impression. So far, start by rotating the background. So we have right here um, what's it called the translate layer X tool. And the very moment we click on it, we have this dialog box at the top of Anime Studio. And let's set our rotation for minus 90. That will flip uh, the background 90 degrees. There we go, and we have a flat background with a tree on it. Good enough. Let's go now to the Translate Layer tool, which is that little cross here at the layer menu. And when you click, a different menu shows a dialog box. And let's ask for the Y position, minus 0 0.25, and that's going to bend our background, the land. A bit and let's expand it a little bit more using the scale layer tool again when you click on it we have a different dialog box at the top instead of one is going to be fine on X on Y is going to be five as well and on Z is going to be five as well and we have a large ground that's it for the background for the meanwhile we have a tree with a background with a land underneath let's click on the orbit workspace tool and we see a 3d view of our situation uh, this is the land this is a tree and over here we see the camera small edge represents the direction that the camera is pointing at so if you ask for a reset view, we see what the camera is seeing. Now let's create a few more trees. Double click on the tree layer and ask for rotate face to camera. This is very important. And let's move this tree around. We can put one tree over here. And now let's duplicate tree with the duplicate layer button one two three we have a few trees more uh, this is gonna be here let's play around with Z is also important let's see minus two and let's get this tree number three over here uh, let's go a bit forward let's see minus three it's further away uh, let's get another three here um, Move it here, um, and it's going to be minus 1.2. We have a small forest over here. You can expand as many trees as you wish. Now we see on a workspace, we have four trees, and we have a camera looking at them. We have four trees, and we have those layers which are two layers of a layer group just to make sure that um, the layers are sorted by depth this means since each layer has a different distance from the camera that does not mean that they're not on top of the other so we want you want to avoid having a layer with a higher Z below uh, a layer with a smaller Z. Now we'll be 
we're done with layers for now and we'll be doing some camera shooting right now let's open the timeline let's move the needle to frame 48 in our case we'll be in frame 48 it's good enough and by making changes on the frame 48 that creates a keyframe and Anime Studio Pro automatically interpolates, calculates all the frames in between 0 and 48, creating the animation. Let's close this, and this is a camera track tool. And holding down the Alt key on the PC, let's Go to the edge of our ground, edge of our clock. That's all happening on frame 48. Now let's tilt the camera a bit. There's the tilt camera tool and pressing the shift key to turn the camera around. Window timeline. Let's move a bit and create another keyframe on, let's say, 102 good enough for me let's close the timeline and the difference is this time we'll be moving the camera using the orbit workspace tool and as you know this represents the camera and the smaller edge is where the camera is looking at so if you reset view we're going to see a tree staring at us because the camera is staring at the tree. All right, again, camera track tool, holding down the Alt key. Let's go a little bit further behind and let's grab the tilt camera. a bit and to finish our animation I would just like to go back to the something close to just the original start place and let's go back to where we were camera view and goes to the edge, turns around, goes back, looks at the ground, and back staring at the trees. Thanks for watching my video again. Uh, the layers they have window layers they have checked rotate to face the camera, meaning that even though the camera turns around, you can see the profile of the trees, the trees are always turning to the camera in order to create a 3D effect. My website shows at the end of this tutorial, feel free to send questions, remarks, suggestions, we reply in general in less than 24 hours, thanks for watching.